All right, let's do a test. This is going to be a test on my pro it. Shake me, and I help. There was a lot of jokes that were made over the past year about shake and bake. And this is going to be my attempt at uh, adding to the pro it baking. Baking? Yeah, let me just say it that way. The pro it baking. We're going to do shake and bake pork chops tonight. I may have to adjust this a little bit. But the past couple were informative, if not entertaining. But you're going to see craft chest style shake and bake on pork chops, and I apologize if the audio is a little bit off, but I'm using the uh, two wicked two and a half laptop, awesome computer, the D600 Latitude. It does very good as far as a computer goes. Hmm. So let's try this out. If you can't see me, that's all right. It's the food that's important. Let's do this. All right, so here we go. Hope this is on. Once again, we're going to do shake and bake pork chops. The lighting's kind of screwed in here tonight. I don't have the light adjust filter on. Let me try this. See if you can see me any better. Let there be light. All right. What I did was is I went out and got me some extra crispy shake and bake for chicken and pork and whatever you want to put in it. But one thing that I don't like are these little fish bags that they give you. That's what I call them. Because this is what you bring home when you buy a fish. There, you see what I'm saying? No good. We like to use, get out of here, the big Ziplocs or whatever brand you like. I don't want to be naming anybody if those copyright things happen. But this is just a storage bag. Okay? I like to put both things in there because, you know, quite honestly, when you're doing shake and bake, who the hell wants that little bit of shake and bake on their stuff anyway? Let's bring me to another point. When you're eating pork chops, let's just be honest, one or two just aren't enough. Well, they may be for the bulimic anorexic person who only eats just to survive, not to fill or even forage for food that they know they want more of. But let me not digress on that particular subject. Hmm. Next step. First step, second step, whatever you want to call it. Preheat your oven to 425. I know in the instructions it says 400, but there's a reason why you want to have it up. Nextly, I don't agree with the non-grease baked pan. And with me being here and I don't have anybody to help me clean, I always like to keep handy aluminum foil and some non-cook, non-cook, damn, non-stick cooking spray. I know it says not to do it, but do it anyway. All right, what's next? Oh, the pork chops. We gotta have the pork chops. And tonight we're gonna do it a little different. Because I, like I said, we're gonna do it crack chest style. We have from the Jerry Lee's, the uh, center cut pork chops. And these, I don't know if you can see that, have been seasoned. Huh? Seasoned pork chop. Smells good. I know their wings are awesome in this sauce right here. I don't know what it is they sprinkle on here. I'm going to have to actually get that blend because this is some amazing seasoning that they put on here. So we have six of those. Am I going to eat them all? Who the flip knows? They're that good. I know I'm going to eat at least four of them. Hmm. Then I have Duke and the dogs, and they like bones, so we have fun for all as far as the shake and bake goes. And then, to top it off, I don't eat a whole lot of potatoes, but when I do, the ones I like are to get fried. I don't get a whole lot of baked potatoes in that. And tonight, I don't know, it's been a long time since I've had some potato product. I'm going to have these sure fine seasoned Fries. Supposed to be like the restaurant style, you know, rallies, checkers, finish line, whatever they call it. These ought to be good. Hmm, it's been a little while since I had fries, man. That's going to be awful. Awesome. So we're going to throw that to the side. Now, I'll splice in the next bit and take it to the next step. Got to wash the hands. 
Let's go ahead. I guess I will wash my hands. Because we can't be funky nasty when it comes to handling poultry or pork. And Craft Chest does not like to be dirty. Can't stand dirty hands. It's not OCC. But I am down with OPP. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Wrong, wrong state. Yeah. Let's see. Let's get back to the baking. That was too TMI there. But anyway, let me splice this in and show you what the next step is. I can't wash these. Supposedly, in theory, they're already washed and pre-seasoned. Now, my oven's already heated up, so what we're going to do is I stick this in the bag, and I don't shake. And what I do is I just get that stuff and press it in, turn it over, flip it up, smack it down, rub it. Sounds like a song I've heard before. Who is that, Ludacris? I don't know. But anyway, we get that going like that and I'll get done with these and show you what to do next stay tuned let's do number three four oh, number four yeah I'm gonna move pretty quick <laughs> or like what is it curly in the three stooges <laughs> Hey, Knucklehead, what are you up to? Hmm, hey, no. Uh-oh, I have a spectator. The almighty Dex is at my feet watching me do chicken bake. Because he knows if he's a good pud, he might actually get a piece of pork. seven of them in here. Oh, a bonus. I didn't even know that seventh one was down there. <clears throat> Could have had some music playing. I might actually add some music to this part. I don't know how long it's going to take, but song going through my head I might have to play later in another video. I might actually post up that dream video that I did earlier. I don't know. I had a weird dream the other day. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it or not, but the past few times that I've had weird dreams, the shit's come to pass. And it's kind of strange. And, I don't know. It's probably coincidence. A lot of people say it's bullshit. You know, you're just making stuff up. I wish I was. I wish I didn't have it. Alright. So anyway, normal people, normal, I say, would have all this shake and bake in this pan with one bag for a family. Now, I don't know why they do that because everybody knows that folks skip out to these days, especially big corporations like shake and bake and that. Now let's dispose of this stuff. Alright. So, here we go. Alright, let's get rid of the bags. The boxes. And tell you what's going on now. Hmm, what's this bag? Let me get this out of here. Get all this trash out of here. I can't stand clutter. My yard may look like nobody lives here, but inside this house, it's got to look like a palace. Wish it work, it looked like a palace. Damn. Need to find the niche to that. Alright, so here we go with our nice seasoned poke chops. One last thing that I do, I just can't follow the directions because me, I like pepper. I don't know about anybody else, but I love ground black pepper. And another thing, I don't do this on all of them. So there's this awesome product called Tiger Sauce. It's from Baton Rouge in Louisiana, but I love to sprinkle some of this on a couple of these just to see 
how it comes out. And then, I know some of you are going to go gag, whatever, on about the same ones I put a sprinkle of some garlic powder. Awesome stuff. So we're already preheated. We got our pork chops deluxe happening here. I'm gonna stick them in the oven. The directions say 20 minutes. Me, like I said, I don't like to follow directions. We're gonna do 30 minutes. And by the way, Storm Killer, here's that microwave that you like the music from. One day I might actually put it on there. <sighs> what do you think? Shake and bake by the craft chest. We'll be back.